Hello and today I'm going to show you how to make a piece of abstract art using Scratch. Um, effectively what the program will do is get a sprite to draw um, a to render a square line by line pixel by pixel and the color of each pixel will de be determined by the position that pixel is within the image. And so the first thing you need to do is change the costume of the sprite of BWOB um, to um, a simple um, pixel and so select a brush make it a nice small one um, click a color it shouldn't be black at this point and just drop a pixel on the screen then click OK and um, now you can delete the old um, costume and go to the scripts. So the first thing you need to think about is how do you get the sprite to draw um, a single line. So to do that we will make the sprite go forward um, maybe one step ten times and we will make it stamp itself onto the ground each time it does that. And if I was to run that we'll see that it's drawn a very small line there and probably at the start of each one we need to clear the screen and also it needs to go a bit further so instead of going um, 10 I'm going to repeat it 100 and see what happens now you see that much a much larger line now that isn't really where I'd like to get this sprite starting I'd like it to start more and um, in the be more central and so um, I will move the sprite to a different position at the very start. So go to maybe minus 50. And when it says X, we're talking about the coordinates behind um, behind the uh, in the background. You can see where the mouse is determines what the coordinates are and also the coordinate of the sprite. And so um, now if I play it again, that's more central. Um, the other thing that you might want to do is if you change the direction of the sprite like this and click play, you'll see that the um, program repositions itself, and that's not necessarily very good. So what we'll do is a bit moving one step in the direction, we'll change that to change x by one, and that means it'll always move across no matter which direction it's pointed in. So change x by one. Now what I need to do is repeat that process for a range of rows down the screen and so I will repeat the whole of that various times for rows going down the screen so if I go to control I go repeat and place a repeat around that and place to a hundred and then each time I want it to change y by one by minus one in fact so it's going down the screen and set x to the position to the x position it started at, at minus 50 minus 50 and click play and you'll see now that it's going down ooh, by quite a lot let's have a look and see what's happened now so that's been set y to minus one I wanted that to, so set y to minus one to be change y by one so instead of it going to the position minus 1, it now changes the current y position to y position minus 1. Play that again. Perfect, it's drawing below it now. But the problem is that this is going quite slowly, so if I click up on um, the edit menu on BYOB, I have a turbo option and it draws it much quicker. Super. Now this in itself isn't very interesting and not very artistic. Um, it becomes artistic when you change the colour of the sprite to be determined by its position. And so you can go into looks and set colour effect to zero before it stamps. And then that um, colour effect can be changed to a function involving x and y. x and y position. So x position times y position. And this is where it gets really cool drop those into there and click play.
should come up with a kind of cool picture. Let's put this on the big screen for you. Which is awesome. Um, so the next steps for somebody who wanted to extend this um, might be to experiment with different functions. So maybe instead of x position we can introduce some operate some arithmetic functions like I don't know the cos of x. Let's see what happens to that. Seems to be a sort of slow transition from x to y on the y axis. Um, the other thing you might want to do is change the position that it starts at and make it fill the entire page. Uh, which I'll leave those things for you to work out. But this has been how to make Scratch draw um, a piece of abstract art. Thanks for watching.